Alright then gang, so currently our page transitions are okay for a new page entering the DOM when it slides in, but when they exit there's no kind of animation. Let me just demo that. If I go to the next page, this doesn't animate out, it just pops out, right? The new one animates in, which is good, but same again, if I go to the next one, this one just pops out. There's no animation out of the DOM and I'd like to fix that. So I'd like to take what we learned in the last lesson about animate presence to surround our routes in essence and animate them out when they're removed from the DOM. So when the home component, the base component, the toppings component and the order component are all removed from the DOM, I want to animate them out instead of just popping out. That's what we're going to do in this video. Now, before I start that, I'm going to remove the animate presence stuff that we did in the last tutorial. So that was on the order component. I'm going to delete that and delete that. I'm also going to delete this check for show title because we don't actually want to animate the H2 out of the page. It just makes no sense whatsoever. So let me get rid of those motion props and move this back up here like this. Scoot this over here and move everything up. Okay, cool. So now what I'm going to do is delete all of this state that we used like so and we'll keep use state there because we might use it later on in this component. So for this to work there are three steps that we need to take. So the first step is to go to the root component app.js where we have our switch component and that surrounds all of the different routes we have and we need to surround the switch component right here with animate presence because this switch component is the thing that's going to be entering and exiting route components to and from the DOM. So remember first of all we have to import animate presence at the top so let me say import and it's animate presence from frame of motion like so and then we can surround the switch with that animate presence component Oops, we'll take the end closing tag and place that at the end as well. So let me cut that and paste it right down here. Okay, so that's the first step done. But this alone won't be enough because Animate Presence doesn't necessarily know when our route changes. So it doesn't know when to fire any kind of exit animation. So we need to help Animate Presence know when the route location changes. So then the next step is to use the use location hook provided to us by the React router to get some location information. So first of all, let's import that from React router DOM. So over here, we can say we want use location, that hook as well. And then at the top of the component, I'm just going to say const location is equal to use location like so. So we can use this hook right here to get information about the current route location and now that is going to be stored inside this constant. And whenever the route changes, this is going to update the information inside this constant. Now we need to go down here and pass some of this information to the switch component and that way Animate Presence is then going to understand when our route changes and when to do an exit animation. So I'm going to say switch and then pass it a prop called location and set it equal to the location constant up here that we just grabbed from use location. So we're passing that information in and I'm also going to give this a key and set the key equal to location and on the location object we have access to a key property. So I'll just pass it that as the key. And now we're providing the switch with this extra information. Animate Presence is going to know about these changes in the routes when components are coming in and going out and it's going to be able to fire the exit transition or the exit animation when the route location changes. And by the way, we can't use this use location where we define the actual router to begin with. So we define that inside index.js right here, which means we can use it in app.js. If we were to define our router right here inside app.js, then React would probably have a problem with us using this location information and this hook inside this component to do this. So now finally, the final step is to add exit animations to each of the components right here, their root elements in turn. 
So first of all, what I'm going to do is go to the home screen and do the exit animation for this. But before I do that, I want to extract this stuff into variants instead. So I'm going to come up here and I'm going to create a new constant and I'm going to call this container variants like so and set it equal to an object. Inside, I'm going to create a hidden property, which is the initial state. And inside there, we'll just copy what we have down here, which is the opacity. So let me open up this object and say the opacity to begin with is going to be zero. Then after that, we want a visible property. And inside there, we'll say the opacity is going to be one. And we also want the transition effects. So let's do a transition property, which is an object. And this is just going to contain these two things right here. So let me copy those and paste them in right here like so. So we have these variants and now we can add the variants right here. And this is going to be the container variance, like so. And now the initial is going to be the hidden property that we defined and the animate property will be visible. And now we no longer need this transition because we have it defined right here. Okay, so now we also want to add an exit animation. Now, before, we just added it directly onto the motion component. But since we have variants, we can add it onto the variants instead. So let me down here say that I want an exit property. Again, you can call this what you want. It doesn't matter as long as we reference it down here. It doesn't matter. But I'm going to call it exit. And right here, I'm going to say the X position is going to go to minus 100 VH, or rather VW, viewport width. And then after that, I'm also going to apply a transition property. And inside here, we'll do an ease function. And that is going to be ease in out, like so. OK, so you can play around with these ease functions and see what works best for you. I've already done that, and I think this one looks quite nice. So let me save this, first of all, and test this out. So let me go back to the start. And everything still should animate in. And if we click Create Your Pizza, it doesn't animate out. So let's go back to the code. And that's because stupidly, we didn't apply the exit attribute right here. So exit is equal to the exit property. So let me save that again and try this once more. So let me go back to the home page and then click create your pizza and it still doesn't work. So I'm going to go back and I'm just going to hard refresh just in case we've not picked up any changes because it should work. Click create your pizza. OK, there we go. Now it worked. We see that slide out. So let me just go back to the home page so we can see that again. And we can see right here, create your pizza. Yep, it slides out. Awesome. So now I want to do the same thing for the other components. So I'm going to go to home over here, grab these container variants, and I'm going to go to base next. And do we have container variants already? Yes, we do. So let me, in fact, just add the exit to these variants. Let me grab this and go over here to base and say, oops, exit is this object right here. We also need to add exit down here like so. Exit is equal to exit. We'll save that. Next, we'll go to toppings and add the exit property to the container variant again. Remember, we already created these in a previous tutorial and we applied them right here. So all we're doing is adding on the exit properties. So exit here is equal to exit save that and then finally order we have container variants let me add on the exit down here as well and come down here and say exit is equal to exit okay sorted so let's now go to the very start and try this out so create your pizza cool that works let's try this next that works and then finally this one that works Awesome. But we had a bit of a problem right here at the end. It didn't work as expected. This kind of started coming in before the other one completed. If we take a look at that again, let me go back to the toppings page and press some toppings, press order. Notice the new component comes in before this one really finishes. It kind of comes in from over here and it doesn't really work. Now, there is a problem here and it can be easily fixed. And all we need to do is go to where we have our animate present and we need to add on a prop to this. And that is called exit before enter. And what that does is make sure that any component that's exiting is complete before we start the enter of the next component. So 
let me save this again and let's go back to toppings to try this out so extra cheese onions blah -de blah -de blah order now that looks better cool so there we go my friends that is how we use animate presence with our routes so that routes can exit out of the screen in a nice way as well as enter into it next up we're going to be working more with animate presence to create a model that's going to drop down on this screen